are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, black and white sports fans, that is a wrap for Adrian Wojnarowski over there at ESPN. Now, I got to be honest, guys, it actually seems like he's actually been at ESPN forever. He's actually been in the uh, sports reporting business for the longest time, but he has been at ESPN since uh, 2017. Well, today, Woj actually dropped a bombshell that he is out at ESPN and he's actually announced a new career move. OK, now we know that uh, college sports is definitely not really amateur anymore. It's definitely more professional now, maybe I'm just kind of old school guys, but um, when I hear the the term general manager in college sports, yeah, it definitely sounds um pretty professional, okay? Because colleges actually have uh, athletic directors. Professional sports have general managers. But Woj is actually leaving ESPN, and it seems like um this is his decision to actually do. He's going to become a general manager, the general manager at his alma mater. I believe he's actually called um, St. Bonaventure, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So Woj is out of the game over there at ESPN. I'm assuming that um, it's immediately. I'm not really sure. But uh, Woj did um, put out a statement. Stephen A. Smith also gave a reaction to uh, Woj actually leaving ESPN. You know, but the way the ESPN has been going, guys, there's no guarantee he would actually have a job anyway. I mean, there's been so many people, man, that have actually gotten the boot by ESPN. But let's go and get into it, guys. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel, become a channel member, member live stream every single Friday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. You guys can also support us by becoming a member on blackandwhitenetwork.com. Or supporting us on locals, both for just five dollars per month. Check the links in the description. We appreciate these supports. Here we go. Right here, guys. Adrian Wojnarowski retires from ESPN, joins Saint Bonaventure. That is the uh, the school that he actually went to. Um, it says here, ESPN senior NBA insider Adrian Wojnarowski has agreed to become the general manager of the men's basketball program at St. Bonaventure, he told ESPN. Uh, Woj is a St. Bonaventure alumnus and has a strong relationship with the program, including as a fundraiser for the school's collective in recent years. He is a 1991 graduate of the Western New York School and a distinguished alumnus from the Jandoli School of Communication. Quote, this is what Woj actually had to say. It is a thrill of a lifetime to be able to return to a university and community that I love in a role of service to our student athletes, coaches and institution. Woj told ESPN, I'm hopeful that I can bring value in a lot of areas to our basketball program and open doors for our young men's futures in ways both professionally and personally. Woj, 55. He's only 55, guys has worked at ESPN since 2017. He previously worked at Yahoo Sports and the record of um, Bergen County, New Jersey, among other stops. Quote, I am retiring from a dream job at ESPN, and I am so incredibly uh, grateful for my time and experiences with the worldwide leader, he said. Uh, the GM role, now this is what they're actually talking about NIL here. The, G the GM role has become more common in college basketball in recent years as the transfer portal has made wholesale roster turnover an inherent part of the sport. Uh, the role includes NIL allocation, recruiting, and supporting successful um, Bonnie's coach, Mark Smith. Uh, Woj is the uh, perfect person to fill this uh, new role, combining his intimate knowledge of uh, St. Bonaventure and our... Um, transition values with a deep network of relationships he is built across the world's uh, professional and in intercollegiate uh, basketball. Uh, St. Bonaventure athletic director 
Bob Beretta said. The fact that the predominant journalist in his field is willing to walk away from a lucrative media career to serve his alma mater in a support role is a testament to his love and passion for bonus. Uh, in a statement posted to social media, Woge wrote, I grew up the son of a factory worker two miles from ESPN's campus and only ever dreamed of making a living as a sports writer. 37 years ago, the Hartford uh, Current gave me my first byline and I, and I never stopped chasing the thrill of it. Uh, the craft, the craft um, transformed my life, but I've decided to retire from ESPN and the news industry. Understand the commitment required in my role, and it's an investment that I'm no longer driven to make. Time isn't in endless supply, and I want to spend mine in ways that are more personal, personally uh, meaningful. I leave with overwhelming gratitude for uh, countless mentors and colleagues, subjects and stories, readers and viewers. No one has benefited more than me from the belief, trust and generosity of others. Uh, the past seven years at ESPN has been a particular privilege. Uh, I'm appreciative of the uh, company's leadership, um, especially ESPN chairman Jimmy Pitaro and executive editor uh, Christina Douglas, uh, for the understanding and acceptance of my decision to make a life change. After all these years reporting on everyone, everyone's on teams, I'm headed back to my own. So this is definitely um his decision. And apparently him and uh, Jimmy Pitaro actually uh, worked at uh, Yahoo Sports uh, back in 2007 because even here Pitaro said, I've known and admired Woj since we first worked together at Yahoo in 2007. His work at ethic is uh, second to none. And uh, Stephen A. Smith weighs in on to, on this too, on Woj, so let's go ahead and listen in. Over the last couple of years working on NBA Countdown, um, he's the best in the business. He's the best in the business, make no mistake about it. Nobody's more well-connected, nobody's more respected, um, and to be around him and to just have, to be able to touch on a wealth of knowledge that he's had in all of his years covering the league, the context that he has, the inside information that he's had, uh, he's led this place for quite a long time. As you well know, there are many, many occasions where we won't even go on the air and report something unless we hear from Woj first. Mm -hmm. He's meant that much to this place. Uh, he's a part of this institution, somebody that, you know, just speaking on behalf of the whole NBA countdown team and all of us who have worked with him over the last few years, uh, he's the best in the business. He's absolutely exceptional, mm -hmm. a high-end professional. Uh, he has my profound respect. And um, I just hope that this is a very, very happy move, and I anticipate that it is because we certainly didn't ask him to leave. I can assure you of that. This is something that he's doing of his own volition, so one would surmise that he's incredibly happy and comfortable with the decision that he's making. And if anybody deserves to, uh, to be in a position to make this kind of information for the betterment of their quality of life, he would be that individual. He loves St. Bonaventure. Make no mistake about it. Sure Talk does about it love those bonnies. Um, yep. He does. But it's, it's, I, you know, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for him, yeah. uh, but I'm sad for us as a network because Absolutely. it's a devastating loss for us. Yeah, so there you have it, guys. Adrian Wojnarowski out at ESPN. After seven years, going to become a general manager and his alma mater. So um, they have it, man. Good luck to Woj. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us always think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And we will catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.